Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director at Wildlife Images. Today I've got one of our newest critters. It's our rubber boa, Roberta. And very clever name, I know. Rubber boas, believe it or not, are native to Oregon. Most people don't think of boas to be here in Oregon. But these guys are native to Oregon. They are in a lot of different habitats, from grassland to deserts to rocky areas. And of course, like most reptiles, they're ectotherms. So they have to rely on the temperature of their surroundings to generate any body warmth. Well, these guys actually seem to be more adaptable than most reptiles. They can take a broader ranges of heat than most other reptiles. They've been found outside in 40 degree weather at times. So they can generate body heat to their head to elevate their head temperature a little bit over their regular body temperature. So the, these guys also have a real unique defense mechanism. If you can see his head, it's right up here, or her head, it's up here, the tail down here. They look alike, so that's another defense mechanism. A predator coming after them can't tell which end to go after to attack these guys. Gives them a couple of seconds maybe to escape. They're not really a high speed sort of critter. Uh, this one's pretty much going full speed right now. <laughs> so they're not real great at escaping. Their biggest benefit is they can, they can hide. They're good at hiding under rocks and bark and things like that. They don't produce any real smell to speak of, so they can escape most predators. Their primary food is small mammals, like small little pinky mice, but they will eat lizards. They'll eat probably small frogs, lizard eggs, small birds, things like that at times too. So when you're out in the wild, look for the rubber boas. They're not very easy to see. They're very difficult to see. But it reminds me, if you are out there looking for a pet for your child for Christmas, don't look for exotic animals like snakes and things like that. Try to find something more domesticated because even the most calm, like this rubber boa, of, of non-domestic animals are difficult to take care of. They have special food needs, special temperature needs, a lot of different things that most people aren't prepared to supply them. So keep that in mind when you're out there pet shopping this year. Now, if you'd like more information about wildlife images, how to become a volunteer, a donor, maybe put us in your estate planning, something like that, log on to our website at wildlifeimages.org and you get all the information you need right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Walk on the Wild Side. Right, Roberta?